Excellency President Nangolo Mbumba and Madam Mbumba, Madam Monica Genkos, the widow of our departed president, his children, grandchildren, and the rest of the bereaved family. Your Excellencies, the former president, the founding president, and the second president, and your respective spouses. Your Excellency, the vice president, and Mr. Ndaitwa. May I, oh, Your Excellency, President Masisi and Madam, and all the dignitaries, foreign dignitaries that are still here with us, may I stand on the protocol that is established already. Now we have come to the end of the official program of the State Funeral Service for our late president, Dr. Hage Genkop. I wish to thank all our citizens, firstly, for that show of love and solidarity during the entire period of sending off our departed president. As a government, we are grateful to all their excellencies, heads of states and government, and other foreign dignitaries for coming to condole with us, leaving their important uh, preoccupations back in their countries. We also appreciate those who sent condolences messages and could not come uh, personally. We have received material and logistical support from neighboring countries such as the Republic of Angola, the Republic of Botswana, and the Republic of Zambia, as well as from a number of Namibian corporates and individuals. We are most grateful for that. The President of Angola also sent a contingent of his Air Force to join the Namibian counterparts to give a final salute to our departed president. So four of the seven uh, fighters that flew past uh, were from Angola. We still remember when the Angolan president escorted the remains of our liberation struggle veterans who died and were buried in Angola during our liberation struggle, whose remains were exhumed for reburial here at Heroes Acre. He came with them. A number of countries declared a mourning period in honor of our departed president, and they include the Republic of Botswana, the Republic of Kenya, and the United Kingdoms. We are most grateful for that. I should thank the preparatory committee, which took care of the logistical arrangements to ensure a befitting send-off for our departed president. And I thank all the Namibians for standing together in this difficult period. We really, you know, acted like a united people, and we should remain that way. That's the befitting way to honor the legacy of our departed president. Lastly, but by no means the least, I want to thank the family of Dr. Genkop, the widow, the children, the extended family, for accommodating the state in the arrangements for the send-off of their loved one agreed to take the second place, just as they have done throughout the life of public service of Dr. Gainkop. By so doing, they have enabled us as a nation to mourn a man by who by his life of public service became a family member of the broad Namibian family. May the soul of our dear president, Dr. Hage Gainkop, continue to rest in perfect peace.